Okay, uh, we're going to do problems 3, 4, and 5 in this problem set, uh, in this video. So let's see, what the, let's see what problem 3 is. Problem 3. Why can you never really have 100% confidence of correctly estimating the population characteristic of interest? Okay, uh, well, uh, the confidence interval uh, uses a normal distribution and the only interval uh, for a normal distribution that you can be 100% confident in theoretically is minus infinity to plus infinity. So the only estimate you can make with 100% confidence is that the population characteristic is any value uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity and of course this would not be an estimate. What's the next problem? Problem 4. Why is it true that for a given sample size, n, an increase in confidence is achieved by widening the confidence interval and making it less precise? Well, let's see. We saw this with uh, problem number 2 in this problem set. Um, um, we are trying to estimate a true exact value of some population characteristic, and when we widen the confidence interval, we are increasing the possible values that we are claiming as possible. Uh, since there is only one exact value for the population characteristic, widening our range of possible values only makes the, esti the estimate of the exact value less precise. And the last problem here... Problem 5. Why is the sample size needed to determine the proportion smaller when the population is only 20% rather than when the population proportion is 50%? Okay, for this problem, it's helpful to look at, um, at uh, go back to the textbook. And let's go back to the textbook here and look on page 268. And we see on page 268, we see uh, we're trying to determine uh, the appropriate sample size for a proportion. And so uh, this is the equation here to determine n, the sample size. And we look, we have, the, we have z here, and we've got um, uh, um, e, which is the uh, acceptable sampling error, uh, but here, right here, we've got um, the proportion times one minus the proportion. So uh, the question asks 20% and 50%, uh, which which one basically um, uh, requires us, um, you know, why does why is the sample size size needed? To determine uh, the proportion smaller when it's only 20% rather rather than than 50%. If, if we uh, look further on 269, we see if here's um, here's what these uh, what that uh, product computes to with different proportions, and we see that when uh, a proportion is is lower or you know, lower away from 5, from 0.5, we see that uh, this number here, 0 .05, 0 0.09, is much smaller than 0.25. We see that the biggest that this ever gets is 0.25, and that's when the proportion we're talking about is, is 50%. So when we have, uh, 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 if, our, if the proportion is 50%, then we need the largest uh, sample size that we would ever need. So, um, so I would say that the formula for calculating the sample size needed for estimating a population proportion contains the proportion multiplied by 1 minus the proportion in the numerator. So for 20 percent, we've got this 20 percent times 1 minus 20 percent is 0.16, whereas with 50 percent it's 0.5 times 0.5, which ends up being 0.25 and 0.25 is greater than 0.6 uh, so uh, the, that's, that gives us our answer. So uh, this concludes uh, this problem set. Thanks for watching.